Project Agua is implemented by the Maritime Security Subdirectorate of Interpol. It is funded by the United States Department of State, Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs. Project Agua's goal is to support uh, agencies of Benin, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Nigeria and Togo in the investigation of maritime crimes such as piracy or armed robbery at sea. We have the first responders, the investigators and the prosecutions. In this way, this sort of task force would be able to tackle any type of maritime related crimes, be it piracy or armed robbery at sea, from the very first response to the trial. In this context, Project Agua is cooperating with other partners, international partners, like the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes, and in the Global Maritime Program, in the development of uh, mock crime scene exercises and mock trials. These mock crime scene exercises are uh, being executed linked to the Obangame Express exercise, and, and namely to the uh, piracy scenarios. Basically, officers trained by Project Agua are simulating collection of evidence on board of these vessels or playing the role of victim vessels in a piracy crime and the, all the evidence collection is all the steps of the evidence collection transfer of it and chain of custody is being simulated by the officers and then the whole package is being uh, used by the UNODC to, for the creation of a mock trial. We are now working uh, on the preparation of a simulated trial where the uh, law enforcement officers who have been at sea involved with the Interpol in the evidence collection are going to offer a witness uh, for cross-examination uh, with prosecutors and defense from the prosecution office and judges from the Togolese court. This type of work is done by UNODC Global Maritime Crime Program within the framework of capacity building for uh, the judicial system here in Togo, and Togo is a country where we had already a case, we have now a case going on uh, for a pirate attack. In the past we had a case uh, on armed robbery well dealt with by the Togolese authority, and we had a legal reform in Togo, which uh, brought in the possibility to prosecute for uh, applying universal jurisdiction. Interpol is practically an actor clé in the cadre of the decision of information. Et donc ça permet déjà dans un premier temps d'être informé, de se préparer au type de menace qui pourrait arriver et par la suite avec le projet à Goué, renforcer les capacités de tous les acteurs de sorte que face à ce genre de situation, ils puissent avoir le professionnalisme nécessaire pour faire face à ces, ces événements. Officers trained by the project are constantly uh, supported by a criminal intelligence officer who is based in our Interpol's regional bureau for West Africa in Abidjan. This officer supports the member countries daily in their activities and in the investigation of cases on maritime-related crimes.